Welcome back to installment number three of the Hidden Gems series at Nelson. Or should I say the Costa del Lancashire. It is beautiful today. Spoiler alert, I am hot as well. Two under par through nine holes. Here's 10. 397 yard par four, so it's a toughie. Need to get the driver going. Let's go. Just the usual then, but that looks very nice. <laughs> Finish is a concern, but the result is not. I've got 130 yards, we're playing straight up three handicap golf. This would normally be probably a 50 degree with the firm ground, but I'm on an upslope, so I'm just gonna chip a wedge. That normally means it comes out left. That needs to draw. There's a bunker lurking. Oh, well, I've completely misjudged that. That's way short of the green and the bunker. But an opportunity presents to get up and down. A relatively simple chip, not that any really are to get it really close, but it's uphill, slightly right to left. Let's nestle it tight. That's very good. It bobbled, that could go in. <laughs> I thought it was going to stop short, but what a shot! I simply can't believe it. What a start. Never mind three putts. Oh, come on, three under. I'll tell you what, this is some hole, but I'm riding the crest of a wave. It's 130 playing 125, so I've got wedge a tiny bit into the wind off the right. I don't really want to miss this flag right, though. I've not missed it right. That's way in the air and left. Fortunately, it's safe and I have some green to work with. But no bueno, which translates roughly to not good. Well, I had hoped to have come up shy here, but I have a bunker to go over and a sprinkle head. And a tight lie. Hmm. Not great. I'm scared. Trust. Trust the process. Terrified, couldn't do a great deal better. Wanted to land it a bit further short. But it's a put up par, albeit a testing one. What a putt. So huge for the programme, as they say, somewhere on earth. That's a fantastic three in the end. Come on, under par, here we come. That's three under still. Confidence flowing. Par 5, 490, slightly uphill but downwind. It's ripping driver at the mound in the fairway. It's not reachable. Come on. Beauty. Go me. Excellent tee shot. Still got 209 to this flag. Long looks horrible, so I've got five iron on a bit of a slope with the ball below my feet. The bunker short right is not the end of the world, but I'm aiming to be left of that. Wind's off the right as well, so aiming straight at the pin. It's not bad, it's a bit left of the pin. I think I might have caught it a tad chunky. That's actually an ideal miss. Just short left of the green, kind of where I was hoping for in the end. This is awkward. Quite a steep little bank to come up onto the green. So I think I'm gonna hit sand wedge, just bump it onto the green, kill a lot of the speed, roll it in off the left. Eagle. Delicious. Well, I'm pleased to say I've made short work of that par five. Helps when you hit a great tee shot. 
don't like saying it either, but that's four under par. And I'm on an absolute tear. Come on, Johnny, hold it together. Okay, got to try and think as though I'm three over par and battling back. Playing some nice golf, swinging it well. Onto a par three, 144 yards. Plays fairly flat, but it's straight downwind. So I'm playing it about a 120 shot. So it's just a nice smooth 52. Oh, I've pushed it right a bit. And that's a horrible bounce. All right, we need to get up and down. Not my best swing, but they can't all be perfect, I must admit. Well, I can say with absolute certainty this is not the miss. There's quite a significant ridge about five feet short of the flag. And then it runs away from there. And I can't go high because it is so tight here. No idea. Get up. It's not getting up. My goodness. That was about two feet away from being very, very good. And now I'm not even on the putting green still. Wow. In a bit of danger here, ladies and gents. Do not want to double on the card. That's a good putt. It was just drifting right, but thankfully dropped in the right hand side. Managed to managed to limit the damage to one. All right, minor blip there, but nothing too concerning. However, we've now approached stroke index two, 386 yards, wind off the left. So just pumping one up to the left and let the wind drift it back. All right! Don't know what's over there. Pounded it, but it's further right than I wanted by some degree. Found it in a very thick lie. I've only got 110 to this flag, so I'm hacking a 52 as hard as I can. Try and get it somewhere on this green with a huge bunker looming to the left and to the right. Just straight thinned it. Hit the tree in front of me. It's not great, but it could have been a lot worse. Just shot the green. Not two of my best shots. But I'm not doing too badly here, but this is one insane green. Something that Dr. Alistair McKenzie is well known for. Sit. Not even easy to tell from here, to be honest, but maybe four or five feet downhill. Now really, what you would like to have done is to walk up the green to see what you're actually facing up here. I've not got time, because I'm behind someone, and then I've got someone else in my booty, so can't be messing about too much. Good hole. Unfortunately, out of the three shots, only one was any good. And the claw, is an absolute treat to behold. That was in from the moment I struck it, thankfully. And that's a great par on stroke index two. And we remain at three under. Okay, we have another par five, hole 15. 460 or so yards. Looks like I'm just whacking one up the right side, winds off the right, and there's a wall there. Lovely looking hole from here. Don't know what's down there though. That's so close to being a top. Get right. Well, that was awful, or an awful strike, but it's a good badden if there ever is such a thing. With 208 to the front, I've got six iron, which probably isn't enough club, but it does seem to be downhill towards the hole. Draw, draw. Well, that's looking about 10 yards right of the flag, but with the draw, might turn out nicely. We'll have to go and find out, because I have no clue. 
annoyingly, just about everything crossed my mind then. There's a bunker about 50 yards short of the green that I thought I might be in. Wasn't in there. Thought it might be one of these mounds. Then I thought it might be in the hole, optimistically. And somehow I've ended up long. I'm glad I didn't hit five iron. Go. Well, that did a lot better than I thought. I was absolutely convinced that was about five feet short when I first hit it. I can make that. Please, pretty please. For birdie number five. There we go. Incredible scenes. Loving the par fives today. That's another birdie. Four under. Thoroughly enjoying myself out here, as you would probably imagine at four under. And it's only £27.50 for a round. Alistair McKenzie design course. Absolute bargain. Last three holes then. Try my best to finish one under par in these last three. Wow, that flag is perched on the right side. So I probably can't go messing with it too much. Middle is 140 and that's just a nice nine iron. So let's aim for that. Tiny bit thin, but that will work. It's about eight feet left of the flag, seem to roll on. Hopefully at least I've got a putt at it and we can make a par from there. But it's not easy to tell. Well, there's no way to sugarcoat this. This is hard. The green is stupidly long, so I've come up short. I've got an upright sprinkle head to go over and a mound from the fringe, so I can't put it. It's another tight one. Just need to land this on the green, maybe a yard to avoid the upslope. Go. Yeah, absolutely sensational. Absolutely over the moon with that one. Tap it in with my wedge. Walk off with a three and be very happy. Two holes to go. Okay, what a view that is. 17th hole, 326 yard par four. Probably not reachable, but it is slightly downwind. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Pretty sure I've hit driver off every hole that's not a par three, so I'm not about to change now. Pushed it right, but it is drawing. It's definitely gonna be okay. Yeah? Not quite how I wanted to hit it, but it'll work. And maybe just a chip on. I reckon this is probably my favorite hole. Like these views are stunning. Even if it is Lancashire. Yeah. And this green complex is absolutely wild. I've got about 42 yards to the flag, but it's only 30 yards to the top of the slope. So I just want to land it on there. I don't think long is very good. So let's just do that. Need plenty of height. Maybe needed a tad more. It's still pretty good though. It's a birdie putt. Should never complain about that. Honestly, I am spoilt for choice on view here. I've come up about 13, 14 feet short, but it's still very makeable. Nope. It like, definitely went left to right. However, a lot more than I was expecting. Good four. Could have been better, but absolutely could have been worse. Let's go play 18. What a course. 18th hole then, aptly named Mackenzie's last. I'm tired and sweaty. And I need my Sunday best. Wind's off the left. Don't think I can get there, but it'll be tight. It's only 302. Stop drifting. I've nailed it, but it's a bit right. Stay there. Oh, that could be interesting. I hope I'm short of that gigantic tree. 
wasn't a million miles off. Chip and a putt, please. All right, thankfully I've got extremely lucky. I've not quite reached this huge tree, so I don't think it's gonna factor in here. I'm chipping into the wind so I can land it on the flat. Got 56. Let's do just that, shall we? What a course, love it. Obviously helps I've played well. That might have changed if I played like an idiot. Uh, I've not carried it far enough. It was on a lovely line. Nearly thought I'd left it entirely short. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. Filming is an absolute privilege. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Once this goes in. Turn. Oh. Well, it looked on a good line halfway and then drifted to the right. Whether that be brake or wind. I have to settle for a solid par and a four under par finish. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.